The Solar System Cup is finally here. It's been a jolly busy day of football over in the Milky Way, with stars, planets and alien life forms swept up in football fever. We've been following our brave footbots as they battle each of the planets for the ultimate prize. The game's kicked off on Mercury, a tiny ball of rock that orbits closer to the sun than any other planet. What a game of two halves, with the footbots feeling the heat and the cold of Mercury's extreme temperature changes at the home and away ends. Then over on Mars, pitch problems hampered our footbots. Once a warm, wet world, Mars is now a cold desert planet and the pitch is far from tickety-boo. At low gravity, the footbots found it rather difficult to say the least. Luckily, Mars' own match maintenance crew were there to help. Next, excitement was running high for the game on Jupiter, home of the grandest stadium in the solar system. From the outside, this giant stripy ball of gas certainly looks like the bee's knees, but visibility is a mighty challenge and the footbots were unable to locate the pitch. As you can see from the replay, they managed to find a way to keep their heads up, but by then it was too little, too late. Finally, we travelled to Neptune, where the weather didn't help our mechanical heroes. With the highest winds in the whole of the solar system, the game was a spectacular disaster. There were some controversial goals leaving Neptune fans delighted, and our bots a trifle unhappy. So there you have it, the first day of space football is over, and as we look to day two of the cup, the footbots take on Saturn, Uranus and Venus. It's going to be another day of big football challenges, and the footbots will almost certainly have to pull up their socks. But now it's over to you, our viewers. Can you think of a planet that has the right gravity, atmosphere, temperature and surface for football? And do you think one planet has what it takes to win the trophy? This Solar System Cup is far from over.